a place lost to the ages, a hub of culture in antiquity. Join us while we explore the ancient history of the Crimean Peninsula. In the 8th century BC, the Cimmerians or the Chimerians migrated to the location in the Black Sea, which we know nowadays as Crimea. Despite what some may think, Crimea is not an island, but it's a peninsula connected to the main Eurasian continent by a small landmass. The Cimmerians were migrating mostly to run away from Scythian raids and attacks to their native homeland, which according to the Greek historian Herodotus, was on the north of the Caucasus region. The Cimmerians were an Indo-European people closely related culturally to their aggressors, the Scythians. The location named today came from its original people. The Scythian aggressors were an ancient nomadic people living primarily on the region known as Scythia, which today includes the Eurasian steppes, Kazakhstan, the Russian steppes of Siberia, the Ural, Volga and the southern areas of the eastern Ukraine. But the peninsula in antiquity was not famous because of its original inhabitants. Soon after, the Cimmerians first colonized the place. Another kind of people started to migrate to the place in high numbers. They came in the 6th and 7th centuries BC, most coming from the Greek world, and several Greek city-states were established in the region. The Greeks called the peninsula Taurica, and they and the Cimmerians coexisted in the island, but the Greeks outnumbered the original inhabitants and had a more dominant culture. And eventually, these two peoples merged and formed a combined kingdom called the Bosporan Kingdom, which, with the conquest of the Greek peninsula in 146 BC by the Roman Republic, fell under Roman influence, and eventually became a client state of the Roman Republic. On the Crimean Peninsula, there was a famous Greek trading city-state called Taurigian Kersonesus, which is located in what is nowadays the Sevastopol region. Kersonesus was founded in 528 BC by Greek colonizers from the city-state of Miletus. Miletus was a Greek city-state of western Anatolia, approximately 20 miles or 30 kilometers south of the present-day city of Sok in Turkey. Miletus was one of the greatest among the Greek city-states of the East before 500 BC. It was the natural outlet for products from the interior of Anatolia and had a large trading operation of wool with the south of Italy. Miletus also became known for the significant number of colonies it founded. Crimea originally was not a Roman province, but it was very much on its orbit of influence. Initially, it had a stable democratic system with elected officials. The fundament of their economy was agriculture, based on the surrounding fields. And in between the 5th and the 4th century BC, the citizens of Chersonesus built their first defensive walls, aiming to protect themselves from city and raids. At the time, the city-state of Chersonesus turned into a capital of a bigger state covering a large portion of western Crimea. The city expanded rapidly from the 4th century BC and at the 3rd century reached its maximum dimension visible in the course of the walls that have survived to this day. But in the 5th and 4th century BC, another city came into prominence, the city of Panticapeum. They had a monarchical system of government and it was composed by Greek and Scythian settlers. They founded the Bosporan Kingdom, which expanded its borders and defeated and incorporated Chersonesus in around 110 BC. In the 2nd century BC, the Scythians attacked the region once more, and soon the Crimean Peninsula was mainly taken. This situation forced the Bosporan Kingdom to close ties with another bigger Greek kingdom on the south, the Kingdom of Pontus. This kingdom was located where is nowadays the eastern Black Sea region of Turkey. With their help, they defeat the Scythians, but the whole Bosporan kingdom got annexed by the kingdom of Pontus and Chersonesus became a part of Pontus, with still some internal autonomy and self-government. But even the kingdom of Pontus faced its end. The Romans entered in a war with the kingdom of Pontus and defeat them, and in the 1st century BC, the city of Chersonesus became part of the Roman world. 
The Roman influence in Crimea brought again times of prosperity for Krasnodar. During the reign of the Emperor Nero, the Romans sent a large army to conquer all shores of the Black Sea and help defend the cities under attack by Scythian barbarians. The Romans maintained a military outpost to observe the movement of the steppe nomads and support the client states. At the end of the 4th century AD, the steppe areas of central and northern Crimea were conquered by the Huns, another nomadic people who originated in Central Asia and moved to the Caucasus and Eastern Europe. However, they didn't manage to take the well-protected city of Chersonesus. In the area were discovered remains of Roman forts between the 2nd and 3rd century AD. Also, something similar to a typical Roman border watchtower was found. It was a Roman military outpost that measured around 20 meters in diameter and was surrounded by a 3 meter stone wall with an observation tower inside. The Byzantine Empire, or the Eastern Roman Empire, re-established Roman control of the region under the Emperor Justinian I. In the 6th century, probably at the end of the reign of Justinian I, the status of Roman Crimea changed, with Crimea becoming a province which later on would become the team of Kherson. The teams were a late Roman type of districts who helped the Roman Empire to raise armies and probably deserve their own video in the future. By the 6th century, the city of Kersanesus was used by the Romans as a place of banishment, and in late 7th century, most of Roman Crimea fell under Khazar overlordship. The Khazars were a Turkic people, but the southern shores were still under control of the Byzantine emperors, who held onto them until the 13th century. The region was eventually conquered by the Ottoman Empire in 1475 after the fall of Constantinople. If you want to know more about the ancient world, subscribe to our channel. And do like the Romans do and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified about our new videos. And please, feel free to share this video on Facebook, Reddit, and other social media to help this channel grow. Tibi gratis agu pro vidlabo. Did you know that the Russians gave the title of Third Rome to their capital, Moscow? Click on the video which is shown on the screen to know if they have some reason on doing such a claim.